How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood transgender medical student and today we're going to be covering over the pros and cons of testosterone gel and patches compared to testosterone injections. I know this is a hot topic because a lot of people have approached me in the past and asked me, Ben, what are the differences? Should I switch from one method to another? So we're going to be breaking down all the pros and cons, advantages, disadvantages of all three ways of getting our testosterone in. Now, I personally currently use testosterone injections, but more specifically subcutaneous testosterone injections because I feel like it helps with a lot of the negative side effects of the traditional intramuscular injections. And I'll go over that in just a minute. So for the most of us who identify as transmasculine, non-binary, or as a trans man, the first year that we go through testosterone replacement therapy, we're going to be prescribed testosterone injections. And that's because injections have the most scientific data, the most easiest way to check your lab values when you are starting testosterone, because that first year it's kind of iffy, your levels will rise, your levels will decrease, so your practitioner has a more better understanding of how you are responding to, to testosterone. So that first year, you'll probably be on testosterone injections, and after that first year, you will also uh, have more options available to you, which includes testosterone gel and patches. It's also incredibly beneficial for one person to start on testosterone injections, especially if they want masculinization features, because injections provide the quickest way for you to have those masculinizing changes within your physiology and in your body so, so that you can start feeling more comfortable in your own skin. So that's why injections are kind of prioritized in that first year. But after the first year, those changes start to mellow out and that's why you have more options available to you because it's not as important for you to get those rapid, fast, quick changes for gender euphoria. Also, testosterone injections are by far the most cost-effective way to get testosterone in your body if you are someone who's trans and are medically transitioning. So testosterone injections, uh, one month supply of testosterone oil is usually between 25 to $40. Very, very cheap compared to the other two options that I'm going to talk about now. So both T-gel and T-patches are used daily instead of the once every week or once every two week testosterone injections. So there are a couple of really huge benefits to this. Usually people who do the once every other week injections, they have like these highs and lows with their testosterone levels. Usually the first couple of days it gets super high and near the end of the cycle before your next injection, you start feeling kind of like crud, like you don't feel as well, you get more tired easily, and you get cranky. So those are some of the side effects that once a day testosterone gel and patches can really help with. I do want to emphasize though that you can still do once weekly subcutaneous testosterone injections instead of the traditional intramuscular and you get some of the same benefits of not experiencing those highs and lows or even once a week intramuscular injections are better because you don't experience as many highs and lows as with the every other week variant of doing injections. I personally have transitioned into doing subcutaneous injections just because it allows my testosterone levels to be pretty stagnant throughout the week and also that I, I only have to do it once a week and don't have to worry about it at all for the remaining days. But if you're the kind of person who doesn't really like the pain that comes with injections or you're just really afraid of needles because those are all two very valid reasons on why you don't want to keep doing testosterone injections, testosterone gel and patches are a really good alternative. Now with testosterone gel, you usually get a pump bottle where you pump some tea into your hand in the morning or after you shower and you just apply it to your skin. Usually it's the shoulder area and let, wait for it to dry. For some people, uh, waiting for it to dry is no big deal. You're not in any rush. For other people, they have experienced some kind of discomfort of just having to wait in the shower until it dries because you can't put on a shirt. You can't put anything on really until it completely dries. Then you have to be incredibly careful 
and make sure you're not in contact with anyone skin to skin when you have the gel on your shoulder or whatever part of your body you apply it to because whoever gets into contact with that testosterone will also absorb that testosterone and they might have some side effects that they don't want. Some people have also said that they don't like how sticky testosterone gel is, but usually that's not a very big problem for people who like T-gel. I actually know more people that are more comfortable with T-gel than testosterone patches, if that helps in any way. Now, if you're very, very afraid of having someone get into contact with your T-gel, you can also opt into getting testosterone patches, which work the same way. You daily apply it to either your shoulder or some other body part and have that testosterone absorb over time. However, there are some disadvantages to tea patches and the main disadvantage with tea patches is the fact that often the area where you apply the patch the skin underneath can get very irritated can get scaly it can get scratchy it can start itching so a lot of people who are skin sensitive testosterone patches may not be the best choice for skin sensitive people because it's honestly not a great time if you have a rash all the time where you apply your patch but it does eliminate the fear of transferring your testosterone to someone else if they come into contact with your skin. Now, lastly, this I think this is really important for people who has gender dysphoria when it comes to their menstrual cycle, but there have been reported cases of people who have uh, undergone testosterone gel and testosterone patches where their monthly cycle came back and that honestly is usually eliminated with testosterone injections but i have have heard of cases where people got their cycles back when they moved to once daily testosterone gel and patches honestly this is a great transition point for me to tell you that if you are considering switching to these know that you can even do a trial run if it's not working for you if you end up having your cycle again and that causes major gender dysphoria i know for me it would then you can always switch back to injections there's no you have if you switch you can't turn back so if you really want to try it out you are definitely free to do it if it's available to you now the very very big elephant in the room when it comes to testosterone gel and patches is how ridiculously expensive they are a one month supply of testosterone gel can range from 90 to $200. That's almost a 400% increase in the monthly supply of $25 of testosterone oil for injections. So it's a pretty, pretty steep price without insurance. A lot of insurances don't even cover it. I mean, my insurance doesn't cover T gel or T patches. And even if you use GoodRx, you're still going to be paying quite a price. Patches are even more ridiculous because they can range from $700 to $1,000 a month. I mean, even with payment plans or like discounts, you're going to be paying at least $400 to $600 for tea patches. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous that pharmaceutical companies that think that they can gouge trans patients for these options that may be better for people who can't comfortably take injections. But I mean, I guess this is the world we're living in and hopefully one day that changes, one day more trans providers can advocate for those prices to go down. But until then, they're going to be very expensive for quite a long time. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the pros and cons of tea gel and tea patches i hope you all learned something from watching this video i hope you got something out of it i hope that you will share it with someone who may greatly benefit from this information please follow me on instagram and twitter to keep up with my daily life and what i do outside of making videos for you all and i'll see you in the next video this is ben